Hello guys, welcome again to our YouTube channel. My name is Daniel from the Okemwa MV. Today I want us to discuss about uh, uh, some of the problems that immigrant teens or kids face here in the United States. So you'll be moving to the United States as immigrant, either single or with family. So when you come with family, uh, you are with the kids. Those kids, they would be uh, various ages. There are those ones who come with uh, kids of uh, one year, two year, three year, 15 years, and the like. So when they come here to the United States, they will be facing some challenges because this will be a new environment to them a new environment where they have not grown in, they will start living here in the United States, adapting and getting used to uh, whatever life which is here. So when you come with your kids, the United States, they are, you are both immigrants, but your kids will be called first generation immigrants. The first generation immigrants are the kids that you come with from your home country to the United States. So they are referred as first uh, immigrant generation. These kids will not be having like you behave. Kids adapt so fast with new environments compared to the parents. So in this case, uh, the kids will start learning some culture here. We learn on how to speak like others. They will learn on how to go to school, how they will be independent and so many others. So in the process of them adjusting the new life here, they will be facing so many challenges. And one of the challenges that they are likely to face is language barrier. When you come to the United States for the first time, you will not be speaking as the indigenous or the natives here. Your speaking will be affected by your home country, the where, where you grew up. So these kids will take time to learn and in the process of taking time to learn on how to speak like uh, other kids in school, they will be facing that challenge we call as language barrier. They will not be able to communicate so friendly, so fast the way others speak. They will not be asking questions in class like the others, because others will keep on laughing at them. So that problem will be there for a while. But after a few months, uh, kids or immigrants, adapt very well to the system. Another problem that they are likely to face here in the United States is what you call as isolation. Isolation is a, a major problem because of our skin color. Sometimes you may take your kids to a school where most of the kids there are white. And for them now to mingle and interact, it will take time. First, our kids, all of the kids from wherever you come from, they will be isolated for a while. But as time goes by, kids make friendships so fast than uh, adults. So they will make friends and they will be able now to mingle and interact very well. And that problem of isolation will finally go away. The other thing, our kids are likely to face what we call as a identity crisis. We are from Africa. We have come with our kids to the United States. These kids are learning new culture here in the United States. And at the same time, these kids are learning are still having our culture, our African culture with them. When they come home, 
we are telling them that let's learn or let's be like this and that as per our culture. And when they go to school, they get that the environment there is very different to what we tell them at home. So they will be learning Western culture in school and with other teens. And when they come home, we insist on speaking our native language and we need them also to learn our culture, never to leave our culture. So they get confused. That will end up uh, for these kids to have what you call as an identity crisis, which culture to identify with. But with time, these kids will be able to pick what they want. But it's advisable, or it's good that we also encourage our kids to always remember where we come from and let them not uh, wash away our culture like that. So guys, uh, the other problem now they are likely to face in, in this case will be the culture of now learning a new school system. School system here is quite different uh, to that where we come from. So they will take time, but after they have adjusted in school, you will see them doing in class. Actually, after they are used to the system, if they are not going to drop out of system, they will be able to do very well in academics. And that's why these immigrant kids are really loved by the teachers here in the United States. So guys, those are some of the four or five problems, our challenges, our teens, what we call as first generation immigrant teens or kids face here in the United States. So let's talk about now what are some of the issues now which would be facing the second generation of immigrant kids in the United States. Second generation immigrants in the United States, these will be the kids of our kids. We have come from Africa or wherever we come from with our kids. They have learned the Western culture here in the United States and still they are having our culture. So they get of age, they get married, they start their own family. The kids that they get here are the ones that will be referred as second generation immigrants. These kids now will not be having like us. They will be adapting or they will be well adapted to the Western culture. These kids will not even know our native language. They will be speaking English all through. They learn everything in the Western way or in American way. They will not be having much problems like our first generation immigrants. And these kids will be considered as American citizens by birth. So guys, uh, the second generation immigrants have got no big issues. They will always adapt very well to the system. They would always do everything as Americans. They will even never want to go back to where you came from. But now, they will be also having some culture shock. When they will be coming to see you in your home or in your apartment, where you stay as immigrant parents, you will be communicating with them. Sometimes they will be surprised on the way you will be talking to them. The culture that you observe here. So they will not be able to understand some of those things. Unlike their parents. So guys, let's always be encouraging our kids when we come to the United States. As much as they adapt the Western culture, never also let them Forget everything up, uh, from where you come from. If it is our Swahili, make sure that you do speak Swahili in the houses where we live. Let's have some few of our cultures in them. 
whenever they go out, they will always remember where they came from. As much as they are first generation or second generation. All people here in the United States, they always identify themselves from where their parents came from. So it's good that you get them understand where you came from and let them also once for a while visit your home country to get to understand how people live and appreciate our culture in totality. So by so doing, you integrate these kids to not only know that uh, people survive in various ways, but also that there is life elsewhere outside the United States. So, so, so guys, those are some of the things that makes us proud of where we come from and proud of our kids. Never wash it away like that. Those are some of the issues and the challenges that our immigrant kids face here in the United States and so many others that I have not highlighted in our discussion today. So make sure that you do more research over the same before you come to the United States. So that you equip yourself very well as a parent on how you will take care of your kids here. Here, every parent is supposed or is solely responsible of uh, the behavior and the character of his or her kids. The way you mold them is the way they will become. If you let them be free range, they will be free range and you will have issues. So thank you guys for watching this video and let's encourage others to be coming on board. Let's watch, let's share and let's encourage one another as a family here and whoever who has some issues, you can consult me online uh, through my email address. I've also given my number, even if, even though it's a Kenyan number, but still it's working under WhatsApp, I'll be able to answer your queries. And uh, you can also reach me under the comment section. I will try, and I will just try the best I can to at least answer each and every one of you. Thank you, and may God bless you for supporting us. Bye, until next video.